Hello and welcome to this short presentation on how to add an email signature in Outlook 2013. Email signatures offer much more than just a way of identifying you. Your email signature is a way of introducing yourself, your role, your expertise and your company to somebody else. The best email signatures encourage the recipient to save your details so that they can reply to you in the future. It's very easy to create a professional looking email signature in Microsoft Outlook and for this tutorial I'm using Outlook 2013. The first thing to do is to access the signatures panel and you can do that in several ways. My favourite is to create a new blank email by going to new and then mail and then to create the signature you need to go to the signatures and then signatures at the bottom of the list and that will then open the signatures and stationery dialog box and from there you need to click new then you'll get the little dialog box that opens up to say give the signature a name so then you name the new signature and click OK the create signature panel will then let you start adding details to the signature you can add your details obviously your name your email address a contact phone number and you can format the text in any way that you want. People sometimes prefer fonts that look like handwriting to sign their name. Bradley Hand, Lucida Handwriting and Seago Script are good examples for a professional email signature, but if you want to use your own actual signature, then you can sign your name, scan it, and then save that as an image. Once it's been saved as an image, it can be inserted into your email signature. And you can also add other images, so for example, a logo. There's my logo being added at the bottom under Net Result Training. And you can also add clickable hyperlinks to anything that is an email address or a web address. All you have to do is click the link button and then enter the details in the insert hyperlink dialog box. Not many people realize that you can also add a business card. If you want to create a business card for yourself, then you need to go to People, which is the new word for contacts and create a new contact. Enter your own details and then as you do that Outlook will create a business card for you and it's a good idea at this point to add an image. You can edit your business card in any way that suits and when you're finished editing click save and close and you can see that my business card for this fictional character here Joseph Doe has been created. Then all we need to do is to add the business card to your email signature and it's a good idea to make people remember you by including your business card and either a logo or a picture of yourself in your signature line. This makes it more personal and it gives the recipient a reason to save your details. Here's my business card for Joseph Doe and here's the signature line with the business card attached. So you can see it's really easy to do, only takes a couple of minutes and it makes a big difference to the way that your signature is perceived by people that receive emails from you. So thank you very much for watching. If you want to learn more details about Outlook 2013, please visit my site at www.netresulttraining.co.uk and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, share it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.